Hello YouTube, Mr. Fox. Something complete different here. And this is just roughly how to use Final Draft. Using a script writing software can be a bit daunting. There are many various packages. I always used Celtex, but I'm now upgrading to Final Cut. Uh, Celtex or Caltex, however you want to say it, is free. Excellent Mac, PC, and now there's an iPhone, iPad app. Link is in the description. But I just want to briefly go over how to write a script in Final Draft. And that's not to say how to create a story or anything, but literally how to use the software. So, first off, by default, because I haven't got anything typed, you're going to be in scene heading mode. So, what you want to do is type the name of your scene. Most common way to do this, um, first of all, if it's an interior interior scene, you write int, and then say Jeffrey's bedroom. You don't need um, it's automatically put into capitals, so you don't need to bother with the capital key. Hit enter. That's now going to take you. You're now going to be in description mode. If you hit enter again, you can see all the different various options we have for all different modes of typing but by default first of all after a scene heading you get your description or action as they like to call it and there are hotkeys as you can see um, but we don't want to use the hotkeys really because we're typing Jeffrey walks in he stares at his big TV. This is very improvised, by the way. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to put us into a new action, but we want him to now say something. So how do we get him to say something? We hit the tab key. So hit tab. It's going to take us central, and we type our characters' names. Because Jeffrey hasn't spoken yet at all, or no one's spoken in this script, you're going to have no characters at all. So we're going to type Jeffrey. And it's automatically put into capitals. This is default um, layout and management used in Hollywood. Hit enter, and that's going to take us into dialogue. Oh my gosh. My TV oops, is so big. Hit enter, it's going to take us into an action. And let's say his mum walks in. We hit enter and then tab again to create a new character and this time we want mum. And mum is going to say what are you looking at? Hit enter and tab and you can see very intuitively Final Draft is going to assume that because the mum just spoke. The only other character you have is Jeffrey. So it's going to assume Jeffrey is going to speak next. And you can see in grey, it's it's got the words Jeff, well, the name Jeffrey. And just hit enter, and that will take us into dialogue with the name already there. I am looking at my TV, mum. So I know this probably isn't the most <laughs> dynamic and exciting tutorial, but. If you want to learn how to use software, this is, well, script writing software, this is how you do it. It's the same for Caltex and most other script writing applications. Final Draft is very popular. And then hit enter again, tab, and we can see that it's going to assume mums there. But we don't want to. We want to have. Transition. It's basically um, fade to black. You might want that at the end of a scene, and you can see that when you have a transition, it instantly assumes you're now going to have a header. So interior. Actually, let's say exterior now. School. Jeffrey arrives at school. 
he is shocked because his mum also arrived. Not too cool, but you know. And you can see that it's starting to Giving us a navigator panel so we can see our scene layout and everything. We can also give some information. So, if you had a really long script, you might want to describe what's going to happen. So, for Jeffrey's bedroom scene, we're going to say, In this scene, Jeffrey realizes just how big his TV really is. You can change the color to red. Um, just so we can help see. And what you might want to do is colour code it so every scene with Jeffrey in could be red, or every scene interior could be red, and every scene exterior could be blue. It's up to you. You can change the title oh. interior Jeffrey. You can title each scene. So the difference between. Um, scene headings, locations, and titles. It's, it's a bit like, a title could be a chapter name, say if you're writing a book and you wanted to call a chapter um, Michael's Escape, that wouldn't be a very good um, location or subject heading because it doesn't tell us where it is, which is really what we want to know. We want to know if it's an interior scene or exterior scene and where it is. But you still want to call it Michael's Escape, because that's what the section's about. Uh, I hope that makes sense. You can click the spelling button to see if I made any mistakes. You can see that it wants to change TV, and I press replace all. It's going to change. Change everything. There you go, replace. No. Basically, one thing to bear in mind is that wherever your cursor is, so let's say I click here, it's going to start the spell check from there, go to the end, and you're going to have to tell it to go back to the beginning if you want to spell check that entire thing. You can print, you can do a split view, which is nice at the moment, um, it's no good, but you can have one page, then the second page, so on and so forth. Just like that. It depends how big your screen is, really, or else it's not much use. You can see we've got our navigator and our scene properties, but if we close them because we didn't want them, but then wanted them back later, you just click on these buttons. It comes back. And there's a few other various tools in the menu bar, but I may go over in go over them in an advanced tutorial at some point. We'll just leave it at this. So I hope this is helpful. I hope this will get you started so you can start writing your proper scripts. But if you want to write a good script, maybe buy a book on good screen um, screenwriting, screenplays. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. I know you can't rate anymore. You just like or dislike, but nonetheless.